I can compare the rate of change in initial value of two functions displayed in different ways. Um, this is the idea that uh, they're going to make it a little bit tougher for us by not giving us the same type of, of function format, and so you have to be fluent in being able to read these functions. If you know how to find the initial values in any way that is given, you're in great shape, but please remember we've got to be able to go through and find the rate of change also. If you can't do that right now, really I would encourage you to just stop, go back, watch uh, some of my earlier videos about how to find the initial value, how to find the rate of change. Uh, come talk to me if you need extra practice or if you just got some, some questions that don't make sense. If you feel great about it, let's go through and make sure that you can do this. Uh, you should be able to look at function number one and go, gee, it's $32. Uh, my x is my starting point, so 32 is my initial value. You can see that uh, x went up by 2, and our y's went up by 6, so 6 divided by 2 is 3. Uh, let's see, that would be $3 per cup. So that's how much the lemonade is. When we look at this one, I know that my initial value instantly would be 4. Okay, so it would be $4. Remember, we always use the y-axis to decide what that number means. It's $4 there. And our rate of change... Uh, let's see, it looks like it goes up two and over one. Yeah, and it just, it keeps going up two and over one, and it's constant because it's a straight line, and we knew that, that already, because linear functions are constant. Um, so our rate of change would be two divided by one, or just two. So that would be two dollars per cup. So what's my greater rate of change? Let's see, we've got three dollars per cup and we've got two dollars per cup um, function number one is greater and you'd say it's three dollars per cup what's the initial value um, this is four dollars function number one is 32 definitely function number one um, that's it if, if you can just get the initial values of both functions get the rate of change for both functions that's all that it comes down to um, that's what's held to us in the, the standard uh, concerning the functions and if you can do that you've mastered it